Hi everyone, Crystal Chester here with TrueHealthRD.com. Today is day 22 of my 21 day juice fast. I successfully completed 21 days on only liquid. <laughs> it was wonderful and I'm here to tell you my story, show you the journey, show you what I documented from day one to day 21. But couple things I want to talk about beforehand. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you're interested in juicing for some reason. Maybe it's for weight loss or maybe it's because you just are trying to get more fruits and vegetables in, which are all understandable people. There's so many opinions out there on if it's, um, if it's beneficial or if it's bogus or if it's just hype. Well, let's break that down for you a little bit. The first misconception is juicing versus blending. People just use the word juicing for both extracting all the pulp and the fiber in the skin and just drinking the liquid, and they use the same word for throwing it all in a blender, making a smoothie, and they say that they are juicing. Both can be beneficial, but at different times. If you are looking to just get more fruits and veggies in, you need to stick with blending 99.9% .9 of the time. The reason why fruits and vegetables are so healthy is because as a whole, they have many nutrients and vitamins and mineral and especially fiber to help with blood sugar, to help with keeping you feel fuller longer. But most of the vitamins and minerals and nutrients are in the skin. So if you're juicing them, taking out all the pulp in the skin, that's where all your vitamins and minerals are and you're left with just basically the sugar, basically the carbohydrate, and very little nutrients compared to if you were to eat the whole thing. Now, juicing, on the other hand, is beneficial if you are going to drink only juice, more like a juice fast for say anywhere to three to however long, you know, 21 days, some people have done 60 days, that's all just depends. But the point is with juicing, when you're extracting the pulp, is that you're trying to let the gut rest. There could be a chronic issue, there could be chronic inflammation, there could be, or maybe you're just wanting to do it for a spiritual fast, like the Daniel fast or a total fast. It's just a different type of fasting. But that's the only time I ever recommend that people just strictly juice, taking out all the pulp, taking out all the fiber, is whenever you're going to just do that for a, a period of many days. Now, let me preface by telling you that I never had any interest at all in doing a juice fast. It sounded quite miserable. However, I was noticing that I had a little bit of inflammation going on. Just I was experiencing the signs and symptoms of that. I am a runner and I like to go out and run. I started noticing pain in my knees, pain that wasn't going away for quite some time and also I had an injury on my right knee that was like that for about three months. So at that point I decided I need to get rid of this inflammation. Studies now show that inflammation is the underlying cause of over 90% of all diseases. Low grade chronic inflammation is no joke and I knew that and so that is why I decided to juice, to extract all the pulp, extract all the, extract all the nutrients to give my gut a rest stop digestion so it can replenish, restore, and rebuild. Now day 22, I feel excellent. All signs of inflammation are gone. All of my cravings are gone. So much that I didn't even know what my first meal was gonna be because everything was just, everything just sounded neutral. Everything sounded good because I just wanted to bite something, but nothing was really calling my name. Nothing was like, oh, let me just have this. It, it was wonderful. But the main point I did this was not for weight loss. It was to get my gut in check, get the inflammation gone, and be healthier from the inside. Also on this, I boned up on my probiotics to make sure if there's any type of dysbiosis going on that they, we got that resolved. And also bone broth because bone broth is such a healing superfood. It has the amino acids in there particularly to help with any type of leaky gut that could have been going on or just to restore um, and repair my body from the inside. If you would like to know more about my journey, keep watching where I documented from day one to day 21. I did have some detox moments. I did have some cravings throughout. There's also times where certain days were harder and certain days were a lot easier and also how I trained my brain during the hard parts. So keep watching. 
Hey everyone, so today is actually day two of my juice fast. It's the end, as you can see, it's nighttime, so I have successfully completed two full days of juice fasting. But today, pretty brutal. My head is throbbing at the moment. Um, I'm drinking a lot of water at the same time. I have all my juices ready. I have my juices here. A friend gave me the vacuum sealer for cans, so that on Sunday when I started this, I bought a ton of veggie, veggies. Thank you Aldi because I got it for pretty dang cheap. And then I juiced all of them or a bunch of them and then I was able to vacuum seal these so I don't have to juice every single day. And I have a ton of these ready to go when I need it. I don't have to think about it and it's awesome. But I'm really looking forward to day four because Usually the first three days are the hardest. So this is midday, day three. Just got back from a networking meeting and have my juice here. Everybody else had their Starbucks and their warm coffee, probably pumpkin or chai, and I had my juice, but it's worth it. Um, what I have learned so far is that I have to constantly drink. Day six, going strong, loving it. I can now see why people feel like they can do this for such a long period of time because you're not hungry, you have tons of energy, and it takes the thinking out of eating, especially if you're trying to be mindful and watch watch what you eat because you know what you're eating. And you, as long as you're using just you know mainly vegetables, you don't have to worry about how much you're drinking. Yesterday, I officially ran out of juice that I prepared on Sunday, and it was a busy work day, so I didn't get to juice that much, and that was a bad idea. I just kind of powered through the hunger, um, through the weakness, and I didn't sleep well at all. My body needed those juice calories. So just got back from the store. As you can see, I'm ready to do another really big juice juicing session so I'll have plenty of juice on hand and it'll be easy and mindless for the weekend. It's day nine, going strong. Yesterday we had people over to decorate for Christmas. We made a big thing, had friends over, I made cookies. Nothing was tempting about it except for at this point I'm really just missing eating. I just want to bite something and there's just so much enjoyment in the eating experience there's not that much enjoyment in this and that's kind of what I'm missing yes foods sound good and they they look good but I know what I'm doing this for that's not tempting I'm just kind of missing the whole eating experience thing and of course chewing something I kind of miss that for the past couple days I've been feeling a little tired than normal than I expected and I wondered why then I was like ah I haven't been drinking water like I should. Light bulb, drink more water, get more energy. I've been feeling like I've been drinking a ton, so I was kind of forgetting that I wasn't drinking enough water. But got my water in, feeling a lot better, looking forward to getting this thing done with. Look at all the awesome food, but I kind of did this to myself. Today is day 11, and at the end of the day, I'm officially over halfway done. I am so excited. I am missing the eating experience so much that I took my family out to eat and already prepared myself ahead of time that it wasn't going to be tempting, that it wasn't going to be anything that I actually wanted, and so far so good. It's not saying none of this stuff doesn't sound good or smell good, but I know what I want. I know I want to cleanse my body, make it healthier, and then eventually, you know, in 10 more days, I can come eat here if I want. So not a big deal. It is day 14, early, early morning. It is about six o'clock. I've been up for about an hour and the success of this whole thing really depends on your mindset, of course. It's, it's all mindset. Can your body do it? Absolutely. Do you think it can do it? That's a different story. Well, the first thing you do in the morning really makes or breaks your entire day. And what I have found is that with brain training, you can really have awesome days or you can have really crummy days. So every morning, right when I wake up, I pray first, I may go to the bathroom, but then I go directly into what I call brain training. And that's where I envision how my day is going to go, what challenges I'm going to face, what smells there are, knowing this whole time that I'm juicing. This week I had four Christmas parties, well actually three Christmas parties and a birthday. And so there's lots of food, there's lots of temptation, but every morning 
depending on what I have going on, I envision what it's like to to be there. I, I imagine the dessert table, the snack table, if we're planning on going out to eat, what it's going to be like there, what it's going to smell like there, and knowing that I am juicing and that, and I envision having no temptation at all. And visualization is a huge component to this and it can greatly, greatly affect your success. The past two days have been very hard more towards the evening now through this whole thing dinner has been the hardest you just kind of want to relax it's not really hard for me to juice during the day because i'm busy and i just go and it's easy just to drink and go don't have to worry about it. the nights are the hardest and friday night saturday night sunday night was a lot better but those nights were incredibly difficult i just wanted to eat regular food sunday i changed my mindset to i I get juice instead of I have to drink juice or I only get juice. I had to really change my mindset or this next week was going to be miserable. So I changed my mindset to I get juice. I'm fasting and I get this and I get this juice and I get my beet juice and all that instead of all this I can't have this and I can't have that because that was just driving me nuts and that's kind of what was happening on Friday and Saturday night. So today is day 16. I believe, yes, today is today 16, so on the home stretch, looking forward to Saturday when, no, Sunday morning when I can eat. Right now I'm craving a, just a big bowl of spaghetti squash with like pine nuts and maybe some, some type of Italian seasoning because I just want a bunch of something and something I can really chew on for a long time. I finally made it to day 21 and actually the last three days have been really easy. I thought in the beginning and more like the middle that the last day especially was going to be super tough, but it wasn't. I think my body is just so used to it and my mind is very conditioned that with all the Christmas festivities and all the shopping and all the holiday, this and that, that you're just juicing. It's not a big deal. And my cravings are gone. This is actually my very first drink where I'm blending. So this entire time I've only been drinking the juice, the liquid. I haven't been blending anything. And so I decided that I needed to start my digestion very, very slowly. So I made myself a smoothie, ice, a whole bunch of spinach and kale and mixed greens, protein powder, and about a fourth of an avocado because I haven't had fat, I haven't had protein this entire time. So I'm starting my digestive system slow, so in the morning you'll be a little bit more geared up and ready to eat solid food. Overall, I'm so glad I did this. I know I've re reduced inflammation, I can feel it. My energy is crazy high. I have zero cravings, and I know I'm just much, much healthier, not only on the outside, but on the inside. Thank you for watching my 21 day juice fast transformation. It looks like I lost about 12 pounds during this 21 day fast. So that's, that's super great. 21 days, 12 pounds. I wasn't going for weight. I reached my goal in reducing inflammation, but hey, the weight loss is always a bonus too. Share this, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. You guys have an awesome day.